Hello and welcome back to the Worst Pre-Made Ever podcast with me, Alex, and our regulars. We have Ellis. Hello. We have Gabby. Hi. We have Jake. Hello. And we have Kath. <laughs> Hello. Yep, it's all of us today, no guests. That means no Nick, so we'll be better. <laughs> well, he's there in the uh, background, he's listening to he's us. He's not there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's not there. there. He's watching. <laughs> Always <laughs> listening, Wazowski. <laughs> and you can find our podcast on all the standard podcasting platforms spotify apple podcasts i don't know any others what are the others Do I have- um there's a there's a whole list of them is there uh, how many like oh. uh 400 oh, okay so there's 400 <laughs> versions of this <laughs> you can right. listen to uh, all of them are slightly <laughs> different as well <laughs> yeah we, we've edited out like stuff on all no we haven't done that no. we haven't done that because before and you can well, also- that'd be a good way to get people to listen to it because then they'll listen throughout the entire no, thing like, we're 400 not times making the edits more complicated <laughs> <laughs> it's, not no. us that do- it's, it's not us that does it so <laughs> get on it nick uh, <laughs> and you can Logic. also point you can also Logic. watch these podcasts as well so you can actually see us which is unfortunate for you over on our youtube channel uh, what's the youtube <laughs> channel called it's www http colon forward slash forward slash https oh wait hang on i've already done that bit you sound so youtube.com slash uh wp pod uh, it, it'll be at WP podcast. Oh, at, they change all the uh, at WP podcast. Yeah, the <laughs> you can find it somewhere. <laughs> it's somewhere on the internet. Just, just search for it. You'll find it. Just search. Like, just just, go just it. search for a train crash. Yeah, exactly. And you'll find us. Um. Anyway. Yeah. That's how are you guys? Oh. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Have another nice weekend. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't do too much actually. Mm. Played Final mm-hmm. Fantasy 15 and crocheted. That was 16. Kath. 16. <laughs> that was well, last I was year. watching. <laughs> yeah. Losing so. track of the numbers now, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> there's so there's so many Final Fantasies. Like it is Well, there's 16. Well, there's 16. But it's not the final one because they they've made like loads of finals. And well, I've never played a single worlds. one. Yeah. Have you not? Nope. Don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Literally, I have no idea. <laughs> the only Final Fantasy thing I've ever done is watch that film based in space. Oh, oh Spirits, Spirits Within? Within? I don't know what it was called. I Which liked it. that one again? The full CG one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was full yeah, CG. the Spirits Within. Is yeah. that the one with the three boys, silver hair boys? No. No, uh, that is Advent Children. Advent Children. That's what yeah. I thought, yeah. I've forgotten. I played um, Final Fantasy. I remember watching my brother play it. And um, man, what a time. Core memories of uh, Cloud and is it Yuna? Yuna is 10, so you're probably thinking of either Aerith or Tifa. Or Yuffie. Uh, is this similar? Or Yuffie. <laughs> I've, I've not the idea what I'm talking about. No, the characters <laughs> of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, yeah, Yuna. Uh, that's one that I remember. Yeah, it was Yuna. And then um, there was also... And then... Tidus? That's Final Fantasy X. That's it, Tidus. Yes, all I, all I remember is just, is just people having really, really, really big uh, swords. Yeah. And that's seven. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, no, everyone has big swords. Yeah, seven is, seven is the quintessential, like... Big to sword overcompensation bench. sword. Is it the right, really okay. annoyingly over the top swords? Yes. No. Oh, I don't. I hate that kind of mm. sword. Yeah. It's just impractical. It's like yeah, how do you are. even get it through a doorway? <laughs> you, you wouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> you, just, impossible. you can't walk anywhere. Can you? Yeah. But are those swords based mm. off real swords, or no. they're just kind of like no, you no, got they're the, just fantasy um, swords. The the one that the main bad guy uses is similar-ish to a Nadachi, but it's like still five times the fucking size yeah it's called right, okay. it, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, i think the, i did no. have a bit of a crush on lulu oh i've always had a crush on oh lulu. she's so hot <laughs> she as is fun. fran it's being that hot fran from final fantasy 12. hang on who the fuck me lulu is like mommy material do you know she I mean? is mommy yeah oh my god i mean it's like I'm just looking no. at images of her. Look, I get it. She's not your type, Alex. No, I, I, sorry. I just said I mean, and then I didn't know what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but no, I'm just, lo- oh, yeah. I'm just looking at... Um, do you know what the largest real-life swords are? Without Googling it, the top three largest swords. Uh, yeah. It's like the, I'm gonna, the great sword. I'm they're, all, all bit. they're all more than two metres. Yeah, but that, that'll, be the oh, Zvi- my God. that'll be the Zweihanders, which are the... the yeah, the, the German Zweihander is one of them. They're over two metres. Uh... Possibly the bastard sword. I'm not sure no. if that's the same thing, though. It might be the same thing, but it's not there. Uh, uh, Nadachi's are quite long. It's 
There is a Japanese one, but it's not the Nodachi. Oh, okay. Well, there's, there's, I know there's a Japanese one, which is a two-hander, which is a fucking, just a gigantic katana. Um, oh, Alex, I think you'll find us the, uh, the Crown Prince of uh, Fuhurara. What? <laughs> I just Googled it, and that's the first one that came up. <laughs> what if you, if you Googled the wrong thing, clearly? <laughs> well, I don't know. It just said this, the largest swords ever, and the first one is the Sword of Sheikh uh, Mohammed bin Hamad. Sheikh. Um, yeah. Sh oh, Sheikh, sorry. Sheik. Oh, is it Sheikh? Sheikh, sorry. Hold on, Ellis, did you say no dachi or o dachi? <laughs> no, N-O, no dachi. My cock. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there are two, which is weird. There's a no dachi and then there's an o dachi. Oh. It's the oh, no dachi, the one's more like a spear with a sword tip. Oh, this is a, this oh, is a yeah. monument. It's like for 15 meters long. Jakes! <laughs> <laughs> so it's not an actual sword. <laughs> and, the la <laughs> and the last one, Gabby should get the last one. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm assuming it's Scottish, or... <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. I oh, can't well, remember what... Claymore. Yeah, Claymore. Oh, yeah, the Claymore, that would be it. Yeah. But yeah, it was definitely... When well, you they're the longest said it, it was like the Scottish there somewhere. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, and then God. if you're going ceremonial, we've probably got that 15 foot of the Yeah, the 15. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly, yeah. Needs a crane to be, like, yeah. <laughs> used properly. Imagine, try, imagine using one of those in <laughs> combat, though. That's just... How what, the 15 meter long sword? No, no, the two meter ones. The two meter how the ones. hell do oh, I you see, carry yeah. that? Uh, uh, over your back. Yeah. It's, you you, you ha have like, it like that. Like no, 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 I know, how you can, I know how you carry it, but how do you use it effectively? Because I, I couldn't fucking lift it. Well, you'd be a lot stronger than we are. <laughs> That's because you're a weak person. Yeah, and they'd be trained. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what Jake and I are doing at the gym, actually. We're just training to... I know, but... The greatest greatest sword. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to put I, I, I it... On, they're, they're four on. breaking into pike formations. And yeah, I know. I'm just putting it in... Oh, putting right. in a picture I just found in the uh, podcast chat. Just look at the fucking size of it. Oh yeah, like that is yeah. that is She's small sad. penis yeah, energy. Enormous. That's well a lot. <laughs> well, that's it, definitely it, some Final Fantasy level shit. There for breaking through pike formations, things like that. Mm. Oh, so but your sword is longer than the pike. So your, so no, your, your sword is just as long, but heavier as well. So when you swing the sword, you whack into the pike shafts, and you tend to splinter the um, tips off. Oh. Surely the best way to use that <laughs> so is to hold shot. it out and do a Tasmanian devil with it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> go, 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 go let it in. It's like fucking Beyblade. Yeah. <laughs> um, Just spinning uh, in a circle. Yeah, exactly. Do you guys play Playblades? Bay what? Bay 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 Sorry, what? <laughs> Did you guys play Beyblades? That's yeah, I didn't ever play with anyone else. I had them, but I didn't have like anyone to do it with because... Oh, I remember no like... <laughs> that, yeah. yeah. I remember like we went to Farmers in New Zealand, which is like a department store. Uh, and then um, they only had one Beyblade left because it was really popular and it had been returned because it was a bit broken. So my mum was like, oh, I'll get it for you. So then I got a Beyblade mm -hmm. and then I had to like fix the like the tip point because that was the bit that broke and I had put like, uh, a, like a pencil lead in the bottom. So if you had like let it rip, it would like draw all over the table. <laughs> <laughs> a, a broken Beyblade for a broken child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, sounds about right, really. Yeah. Oh, sad face. <laughs> we used to oh. play with them. <laughs> Until like, they got banned at school. Um, yeah, there was loads of stuff that kept getting like banned at schools. Do you remember like like Pokemon cards got yeah, banned? Yeah, got banned. Mm -hmm. Then like Pogs got banned. Why? Why does um, shit keep getting banned? We had we friendship had... bracelets got banned in my school. What? I, I think they banned fucking <laughs> bean bags at my school. Yeah. Why do the Why do they ban friendship bracelets for people being like left out and stuff? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. It's like you can't have friendship bracelets because the people who don't have friendship bracelets feel left out. Did you ever? Well, they could just <laughs> can't they just make friendship friendship bracelets with someone else with on their who own also doesn't themselves. have a friendship bracelet? You yeah, can be friends with right. me <laughs> <laughs> on both wrists. Did, like yeah. did any of you get married at uh, primary school? Yes. Um, no. I got married in secondary school officially, yeah. oh. technically. Really? Yeah. Did you have to what? declare it on your? No, so there's one of the. Um, <laughs> so one of the. Um, Where one, is this? One of our teachers. Got you married a those, teacher? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Alice! Uh, for his, for his, <laughs> I think for one of his birthdays, his ha it was one of the house martyrs, and his house bought him um, one of those uh, ordination certificates from new from Las Vegas. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you just basically pay to be ordained, and you can marry people. So oh, theoretically, if I'd have actually signed paperwork by 
Las Vegas law, I'd be married to some <laughs> random person who I can't even remember the name of from my class. Probably oh not too God. dissimilar from getting married in Las Vegas. Yeah, Did exactly. you know that yeah. this was happening, or was he just doing it in private, where he just was like had two kids sat next to each other, like, marry them off? No, it was a, a, a piss <laughs> class to show how stupid it was that you could. Oh, you well, could, I actually marry yeah, people. It, 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 it was this our, is, it was our RS teacher as well. <laughs> Yeah, we had some This similar. is ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. Look, now you guys are married. Isn't that yeah, crazy? Exactly, yeah. yeah, I never oh got married in primary school. I was always the one doing the marrying. Oh, right. You were oh. the vicar, were you? Yeah. Wow, I could see you being the bishop. <laughs> yeah, it was me. Yeah. Why didn't you get married, Alex? Oh, no one liked me that much. Oh, Probably. you're the reason why friendship races got banned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Thanks, mean. Alex. Yeah. Way to kick him while he's down. Well, look, like he's down. No, like I don't remember. He's not down the, the, now. The, the thing is, I don't remember anything about friendship brace. Friendship. <laughs> friendship. <laughs> friendship <laughs> bracelets. <laughs> no, I don't. But that's probably because I was never given. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> so you didn't even find out about oh them. Oh my they god! Got banned, like... a, they might have been a thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, uh, to be fair, I don't remember friendship bracelets either. It's probably did you more even want of a, one. What did I want one? Yeah. Do you want one? Uh, do you want one now? Yeah, go on. I can one? crochet you one. Okay. Look, because me and Alex didn't have any. Let's let's be best buds, eh? With friendship bracelets. Oh, this is this has gone downhill. Very and then quickly. we can get married. <laughs> This is going down. Oh, wow. Very creepy eyes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll get in touch with his old teacher. Yeah. He can all, yeah, he he can all uh, Actually, I think, I think he's in Hong Kong now. Is, oh, was, he dre- was he dressed as an Elvis? No. Oh. Yeah, uh, that Malvin's, is the thing. It's not it? as good as a. Fucking Malvern College opened up another campus in Hong Kong for some reason, or Singapore, or something really weird. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, they've got like oh. a, a overseas campus now. Really bizarre. Ooh. Oh right, that's crazy. Why yeah. is that? Uh, I have absolutely no idea. I, to make more money, I guess. I mean, they're trying to um, get money out of expats, <laughs> I assume. I was going to say, aren't there a lot, lot of British people who live in Hong Kong? Yeah. 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 Well, probably right, not okay. as many as there were. Previous. Most of them have come back now. Yes. Yeah. Mm, for reasons. But, mm-hmm. dot, dot, do those communism. reasons begin? Dot, 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 things dot, dot, not great. Do those <laughs> reasons begin with bre and end in exit? <laughs> No, they begin with uh, G and end in ping. <laughs> oh, G pings it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. God damn. Oh, G pings it. it. Sounds like a rubbish Chinese eBay, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Oh, Wish dot com eBay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, right, oh, we need crazy. to get onto our topic because we, yeah, we've yeah, been we... missing this like three weeks in a row now. This is the. T- this is it. Well, yeah, because it was asked ages ago. And then for one reason or other, we've, we've never got rid of Have we ever had an STD? <laughs> <laughs> no. There's only yes. one person who's going to be answering, or two people going to be answering yes. <laughs> oh, have, have Maybe you... one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, really? What? Do you I was using a condom. Already? It broke. Didn't know okay. that the person had uh, gonorrhea. I got gonorrhea. That then meant that uh, a lot of women, I think, are like asymptomatic. asymptomatic. Yeah. Ah, so yeah, yeah. I only then found out that I had it because I gave it to somebody else. Shit. Oh, shit. But you've never had oh. crop. I've never, never had, had crop. No, I've not had crop. <laughs> no no crop. Oh, at least crop. it was There's like... still time. At least it was like one of the, one of the, <laughs> the, the treatable ones, I guess. <laughs> Rather yeah. than like... Um, the antibiotics people. I had to take afterwards have made me really ill. Oh, no. They knock um, you, apparently. They're, they're huge. So yeah. I had to take four pills that were like that size mm-hmm. and then have a shot in my ass. <laughs> you, need to, you need to describe what you're saying, what you're doing, Kath. They're about oh, okay, so they're, they're about, yeah, about an inch long worth of pill. I had to take so four it's, uh, of those. So it's above average, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> above average length. <laughs> four times above average for Jake. <laughs> yeah, you guys well, have been generous. Come on. Who was the second person there, Ellis? That you I don't know. I didn't know if anyone else was going to say it, but I, I knew oh, right. you cast it. What? I, oh right! Oh, right. I, so I find crabs annoying because they don't actually look like crabs. Like if they were like like clickety clackety crabs, I think that'd be funnier. What if they live like pubic? Uh, the pubic lies were just well, like just little crabs? giant crabs, like a okay. full size. Sure. Full, you get an infestation of crabs, but it's like full size crabs. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Why like, are crabs called crabs? I guess to differentiate themselves from them from lice. Right. But they're they, they're not that. If they are, well, lice. can you just call it pubic? They're lice? just lice. They, it's they, just a different yeah. type of hair. They do well, look like crabs. Hair, it's a different area. Yeah. Like, what would you get well, it? Got, to this what would you call lice in your armpit? Lice. Armpit. But why? Lice. That's not on your head. 
Well, lice, lice go, go everywhere. Anyway, we're going. Tiny. We're get. We're getting off track again. <laughs> I love. Yeah, the, this wasn't the, this wasn't the thing we're yeah, supposed we went, to be talking yeah, okay, about. Oh no, they have tiny little clickety clackers. <laughs> yes, we're getting off track. <laughs> Do you want oh. some, Alex? <laughs> Do I want some? <laughs> Oh shit, be keep, some. Just keep put them in an envelope and send them. <laughs> Just drop nice. it on your nub when, it, when you open it. <laughs> you know how people keep ant farms? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, Gabby, yeah. some people do keep farms just not in a <laughs> yeah just not in a container <laughs> yeah it's a, oh. a dynamic farm it comes, yeah. where, it <laughs> comes yeah. wherever i go right, okay. Bloody hell. Um, no we were going to talk about what we all did before we did youtube as a job hmm. uh I still so don't know. I, still I would say who go, 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 go from post university or post education depending on whoever it is i think we should state what we did at university and then what we went on to do oh. okay jake main character yeah, so I studied uh, music technology at university uh, with the intention of becoming a music producer slash engineer at the end of it. Um, Realised in like third year uh, that like that wasn't going to be a thing and like somewhat had been missold the course a bit um, because they basically on the on the start uh, at the start of the course, they say 96 percent uh, percent of people have been um uh end up in employment after they graduate oh you believed tell- that yeah that just means they work in a coffee shop dude yeah i know i know i know now i know that fucking now well, how do you not know that to start off with well because i was like oh look 96 percent's pretty good i guess you don't end up in employment <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because oh, because, because ellis because it would be misleading to have that on well, a university of course it fucking is. so why is it there because all universities do the same thing <laughs> <laughs> so anyway i was like oh, okay well that's God, this university is pumping out music producers. <laughs> it's like a hundred like a year. That is such a you thing to do. I don't even think there's like a hundred in, in England. But I, at least they don't <laughs> lie. Like at least, at least they don't problem. completely lie, because at least they leave that 2% of people that leave and just like die or don't have any life. You know? <laughs> yeah, what, yeah. what about the 4% the <laughs> that do nothing? Yeah. Um, so yeah, graduated with a 2-1 in music, uh, Bachelor of Science Music Technology. Um... What does T1 and mean? Then, and then the depression hit. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> no, I was a bit depressed, actually, because you've finished, like, you've been given, like, this purpose of going to university. And then, um, and then you suddenly... You might want to explain what a T1 means, Yeah, what does T1 mean? Oh, a T1 is a, uh... Okay, oh, actually, actually, it's a, it's a pass mark. In the UK, you have, like, uh, a, a third class degree, a second class degree, and a first class degree. Um, you can have, like, a third, which is below fifth. Percent, I think, pass rate. Uh, yes. Um, and then a, a 2 2 um, is a 50 to 60. And then a 2 1 is a 60 to 70. And then a first class is 70 and above. Mm-hmm. So you have to get like 70 and a, 70% and above on every single bit of coursework oh, that you hand right. in in order to get that one. Um, I got uh, 69. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> well done. Yeah, it was a bit annoying though because I was like half a percent off getting a first. Because I think if you get 69 and a half, you, you call yeah, it a first. Yeah, I don't know Damn if it. I agree with this class system, but yeah, we've talked about this. Before, yeah, I'm not going to go into it full, but I just I find that quite um, it it diminishes the work that other people put in that they can't do the full whack for multiple reasons. Yeah, you know, say if someone is not in a socioeconomic place to be able to put 100% time into study because they have to work to get the degree at the same time. I'll go on to this when I, uh, when I say my lot. <laughs> yeah, you know, and then like you basically have to announce to someone what you got in that degree. And I understand like you want to reward yep. people for doing well, but th- I guess that's why I kind of like what they did in New Zealand in some ways, which was like, okay, if you pass, you, you all get a degree. If you pass with distinction, then you can put that down. EGI was top of the class. But that's, that's kind of it, because you still walk away with a degree that is equal to someone else. Yeah. And if they are interested, have the grades. If the employer is interested. That's exactly, that's te- technically the same as our system as well. So you the don't actual, have The actual to degree does, has nothing to do with the grade. The grade is just the grade. The degree is either you have a bachelor or a bachelor with honours. That's it. And honours as uh, if you've done well. Uh, it depends, no, it just depends on the course. If you, oh, if, right. you okay. if you complete your course fully, you do all three years, but you mm-hmm. don't get a passing grade, you get your bachelor's. If you pass right. 
and you pass on everything, you get Bachelor with Honours. And then the grade is a third, two, 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 one, first. That's not necessarily it, because mine was a BA with honours. B- uh, you only get the honours if you actually pass. Otherwise, it's just a, otherwise you just have the bachelors. Oh, so do you have an honours degree then? Careful, just a bachelors. I had a bachelor of honours in English honors, literature. Yeah. Oh, cool. There you go. I thought honours was if you did an extra year of study, so rather than three years, four. Nope. My, that was just the title of my degree. We've all got uh, honours. Oh. No. All right, let's take it back. I've got a Bachelor of Science uh, with honours in music. So, technology. yeah, it's, it's, on the, um, <laughs> it's on the amount of... Uh, it's it's weird. So university stuff in the UK is on uh, it's on a points a credit a credits based system. So yeah. you technically can do theoretically you could do a load of different modules from loads of different courses, and as yeah. long as they're under an umbrella of a particular degree, yeah. you'd still get that bachelor's. And the honours yeah. just means you have X amount of credits oh, above okay. a certain amount. So you have your bachelor's, and you get more credits. You get your honours. Right. So we, um, and sense. standard courses in the UK are bachelor with honours. Very few are just straight bachelors. Bachelors. I'm fairly certain anyway. We're BA honours. But then if you have, but then if, but then you can get like different levels of bachelors with honours, right? Like a like a first, a second. So no, the third, first, second, and stuff. That's just your grade. It's nothing. Oh, it's nothing sorry. to do with whether you get honours or not. Honours yeah, is okay. just for completing and completing the modules. So as long as you pass, you've completed the module. So does that mean everyone who has a degree has a Bachelor of on- Honours? So everyone no, it, gets depend, a, a it depends on With the distinction degree. is what, like what Gabby said. Yeah, it, it, it depends on the degree. Do you oh, have okay. to announce what grade you got? What, on like no, a job, really. it, job form? Yeah, so d- what, what class it of dep- degree It you depends got? on... It honestly depends on the employer. I've had yeah. some people who care a lot about what my results were. Mm-hmm. And then... A lot of them were just like, you have a degree. I don't need to yeah. know what the actual grade was. Yeah, most just want a degree. Right. Okay. Interesting. It's the same with oh. same with um, a lot of um, early employment with GCSEs and A levels or equivalent. They just want to know that you have completed them. Yeah. They don't care what your grade is as long it as depend- it depends on the subject. Obviously, if yeah. some places are like, if you're looking at becoming like something to do with like science or engineering or something like that, they might require. Mm. Say, for example, they'll be like. Uh, to get on the course for university you might need like anything above a C in biology, chemistry and physics. Mm. Yeah. Which makes sense I feel because when you get to the point where you're talking about like let's say um, pharmacological stuff, doctor, medicine engineering, architecture it's like you want to make sure you're good enough that the house doesn't fall down Mm -hmm. once it's been built. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that's, that's That's what the grading system's for. Yeah. yeah. So they'll pick people who have got like, a, a, I'll say like a minimum of a two. Normally, if they asking for a grade, it'll be minimum of a two one because they want yeah. the, the cream of the crop. Otherwise, most employers are just happy to have someone who's got a degree. Right. You wouldn't want to like employ someone who's got like a, a third in architecture. No, exactly. Yeah, because like, like, if they do fuck pa- anything up, then <laughs> pass with 40, 40. Yeah, exactly. like, It's yeah. really <laughs> difficult though because what about the people who aren't? They don't have the capacity <clears throat> to do that like to put all of their full effort into getting it and i guess like that's not just you know it's it's, in that case it's not just the naming of the degree that is the issue Mm. it's the support that people have around going to university there are options a this is this is this is going to be some people will consider this a hot take but i don't think it is a lot of people who are going to university shouldn't and should be able to go to other institutions that would benefit them much more than academic study. So, for example, way back when, my uh, back in the 70s, 60s, 70s, 70s, my dad went to what's called a polytechnic. They don't exist anymore now. But they were designed around more practical applications. So things like uh, engineering, uh, uh, vehicle design, uh, yeah. fa- building factories, robotics, you know, all mm-hmm. the sort of more stuff that, but on the practical side of things rather than the theoretical academic yeah. side. So the idea being is that the people who struggled academically would have the other option to, uh, another place to go to where they could also get higher, a higher education, but yeah. in something that wasn't academic. Because, you know, like I imagine some of us, we are not very academically inclined 
much more practical. That's the mm-hmm. reason why I picked the same Speak course as Jake. for yourself. Um, <laughs> but, I think you still have them in New Zealand. Yeah, they, a lot, they do exist in a lot of other places. So they shut them all down and folded them into the normal universities in the mm-hmm. UK. So all the polytechnics disappeared. Yep. And that's why there's now been a massive push for apprenticeships and all that sort of thing in the trades. Because all the people who used to be tradies would go to polytechnics yeah. to learn how to become tradesmen and whatnot. Yeah. But now they those don't exist anymore. So the only way to become a tradesman now is to go through someone else who's already a tradesman or to go to one of the community colleges and learn from there. Mm-hmm. So they've just basically sliced out a large chunk. And the other thing the other thing is as well, both univers so um with university, you don't have to do everything at once. You could take a part time course, it's the same cost. Yeah. Spread over a long period of time. So if you are economically up up the fucking wazoo and you've got to work at the same time to keep yourself going don't do a full-time course right go, yeah. go part-time keep keep you know if you could, well obviously this depends on if you have a job that can pay you enough to feed you and keep you going but yeah go go part-time do as much as you can yeah as much as you can because i think part-time would take it means you can do a course over like six seven years instead of three mm. so you still yes. get the degree at the end of it and the degree is worth exactly the same it's no different at all but you can just take more time over it if you have it's it's specifically designed for people say who have children so they can't yeah. do a full-time course who are working for whatever reason who maybe are carers for infirm or their parents or other siblings or whatever you know it's designed for people who have other shit going on in their lives and mm. they can't um, <laughs> put every single iota of their time into um training into why study and whatnot why didn't you want to get a degree alex um, I just didn't want to carry on with education. Simple as that. I wasn't. I would rather. I'd rather. I wanted to go into working because right. I wanted money. <laughs> right. Um, okay. <laughs> I Fair. didn't want to. Yeah, I didn't want to go to university because it just there was just nothing appealing about it. I didn't like yeah. go. Didn't really like school. So why would I want yeah. to then pay to go to school? It's just <laughs> not really. Well. Genuine question: <laughs> Would you have gone to a polytechnic if they still existed? Like, would you have done a more practical? No, nah, probably not. Like a no, trade or no, no, it's, it's, it's still still wouldn't be interested. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm not. I'm like not a, really just, a genuinely just curious person. Yeah, fair enough. I like to just tell other people what to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, and then obviously I left uh, college and. I, f- I got a U in my in A level maths, so that's oh, fine. Yeah. Cool, good, uh, good I job. I then gave that up after the first year <laughs> for obvious reasons. <laughs> Not for me. Uh, <laughs> no, I just did a B tech business, um, got a triple distinction. Business. Triple distinction mm-hmm. in that, so that's uh, tri- like triple A. Uh, and then I worked at a supermarket part time for all three years, and then I worked in a call centre for one and a half years, and now I'm here. Yeah. Nice. It's a bit of a wild ride for you. Yeah. It's just, it, I, I don't remember a lot about any of it. Oh, really? I there's got to be something like a very good memory. <laughs> there's got to be like some like stick out points because like, we were just saying like you must have some stories from like being working in insurance. Like probably one of uh, arguably unless you actually enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, probably one of the most mundane jobs that it, you could do yeah. in a telly I mean, I didn't enjoy it at position. All. I remember I was working over the weekend once and uh, I was on a phone to some guy. We were just, he was, he was making a claim. I was on the phone to him and then he just heard like a child crying because someone had brought their kid into work and right. he just asked if I was working from home and I went, no, someone's just brought their fucking child to work and he was like, <laughs> oh, you're joking. And I was like, yeah. And then we, just, we just had a conversation about how it was fucking stupid she's brought a baby into work. I'm trying to work and there's this kid screaming. You know, oh my just, God. <laughs> that, hey, is hey, un- hey. that is unprofessional. Hey, 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 no, so no, but it, it was a weekend, well. so it was fine. And she was well, like, she was like, that, so just... she was like that with the managers. Yeah, right. but uh, like just to advocate for the mum as well, you know, it's really fucking hard being a mother, and it's really hard mm. like having children and not yeah. having anybody to watch it, and the fact that you also need to it. pay the costs for that. Well, you don't know, you don't, you don't yeah. know what child is. Gabby, but yeah, the true. problem is, it's not my child, and I don't care, so I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want... <laughs> that is such an Alex take. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Just thought I'd speak up for them, because, yeah. you know... No, true. There, were, there were a couple it's of true. people I spoke to over the phone that just seemed like really nice people, but the majority of them were just moany old bastards. 
Is that because they're just, just like crashed their car or something? They're hardly uh, going to be well, happy. No, because like, no, hello, I've just crashed my Jaguar. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Basically, the family no, for centuries. No, it pretty much because it was all like um, middle-aged to older customers. Oh yeah. yeah. Is, um, and yeah, it was like Jag. Oh, fucking the worst thing I, I hated so much is people call in. I've just crashed my 2018 Jaguar, and I would fuse <laughs> my own garage. Oh, because we get really. we got commission based on if we got them into one of our shit garages. And our ga- our garage, no. <laughs> insurance garages, they are the worst garages you can. I know, I know, I know. I've got a story, and it's just like. <laughs> But we, you get commission based on if you get them in. So I, yeah. I did my damnedest in my last six months or something. I never lost a garage. I just, I just outright refused to let them use their own. Oh, really? <laughs> really? You know, it's like oh, it has to go to the dealership, and I'm like, no, no. you want your no, car fixed? Not. We'll get it fixed. It just won't be very good. But you know, you don't need to know. That. And it'll take about half a year. Yeah. Oh my god. If it's non-fault, if it's if they're at fault, then you know they can have it back within a week. But if it's like mm. a non, actually, if it's not their fault, I don't really have to do anything other than get them over to our uh, get them over to the. Um, a company that basically does it all for them then they just pipe on the costs and keep it going yeah oh no, that's oh, cool the worst one the worst thing because you get uh you also got commission for referral for pi personal injury oh yeah yeah so right. to our to our oh my god it's mm. just it's so dodgy it's like <laughs> you know so <laughs> it's like someone, someone crashed into me at one more well, yeah, it's like my neck no, literally <laughs> it's like you know um a fender bender in a car park you know, oh, just, yeah, yeah. you know, they bumped a mile out. Oh, yeah. And Whiplash. Like, and did you did you <laughs> suffer any injuries? They're like, no. Well, I'll refer you anyway, just to make sure you're okay. Um, and it just is so scummy. It really oh, is. Man. It's like, oh, no, I'm fine. So it wasn't. They're... It's like, but you might have you might have broken your leg, so I'm going to refer you. <laughs> just you might have case. brain damage from the. <laughs> yeah. I, so, I honestly so... think what? No, I honestly think at one point I just told the customer, "Look, I get like five quid for a refer. You can I?" And he was like, "Oh yeah, go on then." Because <laughs> <laughs> <That's great. laughs> like five per referrals, I'm like, okay, I'll take that. That's amazing. So like. So it was in the insurance company's best interest to like refer as many people as possible to like milk just to, to, the other, the other party the for as much yeah. as they're worth. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell, that's terrible. But every it? insurance company does it. It's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. That doesn't surprise yeah. me. And I'm a lot really of them, a lot of them use it. the same companies. So, yeah. so you essentially just start claiming against yourself, but you still want to pipe up the cost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, what do you do then, Gabby? Well, John's not finished yet. Oh, so, is he yeah, not finished? Uh, no, we kind of got sidetracked. Um, Tracked. Is it side tracked or side? I think it's side tracked. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Got side. Did you say tracked? It's been side tracked. Yeah. So um, carry on. So then, uh, yeah, finish uni, uh, move back home with my mum and dad. Um, then. I uh, got a bit depressed for a bit because you were like institutionalised in, in your own little life, and then it all gets ripped up, and you have to go back to living with your parents for a bit. Um, and then, um, yeah, kind of bummed around for a summer. Uh, then I think like a family friend posted like a, a, a post, like a, a note or a newspaper clipping through the door saying that there's, there's, there's this uh, film trust that, uh, sorry, there's this film course going on uh, run by the Prince's Trust. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll do that because like, I didn't have anything else to do. And my uh, my up and coming music career was not uh, taking off as, uh, as I anticipated, <laughs> mm-hmm. despite the, uh, the promises. Did you ever try um, Britain's Got Talent? Um, I didn't. No, no. <laughs> they don't have what Britain's Got Talent for music producing. It's all like performing. <laughs> Live producing. <laughs> and how are you going to do this? Well, I'll use a high band, multi band <laughs> compressor with a bit of uh, a 504 snare. Four, four, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the winner should be able to like send the judges to sleep the fastest. Yeah. It's interesting if you're into it. Yeah. Um, and, then, uh, and then, yeah, the guy who was running that um, was like, oh, you should, um, like, uh, you should use your music degree and like record film sound and i was like i didn't even realize that like film sets and stuff had like sound people on them because i didn't know anything about film um so then he took me along to like a couple of jobs and stuff um and that that was the same film course that i met um met crusty on mm. uh who's who's coming along and said hi in some of our streams before shout out to crusty um and then uh the and then yeah i kind of 
used what money I had left over um, from drugs. university. I think it was like a grand and a half or something. And just got really drunk. No, the, um, <laughs> and then I bought, I bought like uh, some like real basic sound kit and stuff. So I got like a mixer, a microphone and stuff. And then um, just like tried to get on as many film shoots as I possibly could. And there's, there are fucking loads. There are loads. Yeah. Um, Did you ever do it? more so on. in the UK. There's loads of student films or ones that you can work on for free. I should have... I was going to mm. say that as well. So I basically just did like half a year to a year's worth of like free work. Just getting it, get, gaining experience mm. and stuff, le learning how film sets worked. Um, then after that, I kind of uh, like literally phoned up every single production company in Bristol um, and said, hello, I'm a sound recordist. Um, could, do, you want a, do you want any jobs? And do you well, want any no, jobs? I didn't say, I, I was hoping for them. Yeah, anyway. Did, so you, then, ever, um, did you ever do any um, sort of adult film work, if you know what I mean? Sound bank <laughs> or... Uh, yeah, that one. Um, no, I didn't actually, no, no. Oh. I, I, have, I have filmed uh, a sex scene in a film once. What you filmed? Was, uh, did you sit there and giggle the were entire Were you time? in it? No, they were very professional. Um, I think it was like... From what you've explained to me, yeah. is that it was so professional that it would have been awkward to laugh. <laughs> yes, yes. Like that level it of is, filming sex scenes in films is so awkward. It's like the the moment they the moment until you go right, roll cameras or sound, and then action. There is like the, everyone's covered up. Then as soon as they say action, the, everything comes off. Um, they they film the scene. It usually lasts like twenty seconds. Is there any they do it in like, <laughs> they do no. it in like smaller amounts. As soon as they call <laughs> cut, the blankets come back in, they wrap everyone up, and everyone's just got to wait there awkwardly until the next take. <laughs> um, and then you, it's often a closed set, so it's usually just the sound guy, the camera guy, and the director, and like the entirety of the rest of the film crew is usually in another part of the film set, i.e., not looking. So mm. yeah, it's uh, as soon as it's as soon as it kind of. Yeah, it's awkward. It's really fucking awkward, basically. Because, um, yeah, everyone's... We're like, what are you doing on the mm. weekend then? Like, whilst they're yeah. naked and stuff. Oh, it's like <laughs> bonking. I know, but then, but then it goes into the cinema and it's like, oh, this is like a really intimate scene. Oh, it's so romantic. La, 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 la. And then, uh, yeah, it's like just the complete fucking opposite of that when yeah. you're actually making the film and mm. filming it. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, I did film for a bit. Uh, and then... Um, uh, the the work the work was really well paid, but it was um it was really sporadic. So I could like some some days I'd have like uh, like three days a week work, other day other weeks like stuff would go by, like two weeks would go by and there'd be no work at all. And then so it's just really sporadic, and so I needed to like learn how to do something in my uh, in my downtime, and uh, that happened to be editing. Uh, and the only footage I could kind of get hold of at the time to like edit stuff together was uh, of us like playing video games. Um, so then, yeah, that's how the channel started, and then all that all that editing practice kind of got uploaded to to YouTube at the time, um, and then it kind of took off from there. Really, that's up until the very beginning of the channel, which I think we've kind of mm, talked about yeah. that one. talked yeah, about yeah. before. Uh, You're a professional. Professional. Um, I mean, yeah, uh, whack Gary Barlow on the head of the boom pole. Uh, what else have I done? And now we're here. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've met. Uh, who have I met? Uh, Colin Furs, he like makes stuff on Furs. on YouTube. Mm. Yeah, Col you, you'd know him if you saw him. He makes like he's like. If like you a said crazy Colin Firth, guy. I would have been impressed. But Colin Furs, <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you Colin meant Furs. him at first, and he just got the name wrong. No, no. Um, and then I'm trying to think. I can't remember any other famous people that I've worked with, but like, yeah, oh. they, can't like, have been that famous then. Probably not, but they do tend to be like really nice and professional. And I didn't meet anyone that was like an arsehole or anything, which is good. Mm. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much the story me. Story of junk. Who's next? Yeah. Then? Pre post university pre channel. Well, pre I think we should do Ellis because I mean they both did the same degree. Uh, yeah. Mine's mm. a bit, uh, mine's a lot more of a convoluted story though. Yeah, go on then. Okay. No, I love well, a I, think I have a lot more jobs in between time. So um, yeah, <laughs> I, in I, general, I, though, I think yeah. <laughs> go on. Yeah. No, 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 you go. All right, so yeah, I did the same course as Jake. I didn't pick it because I thought I was going to be a music person. <laughs> I picked it because I had no idea what the fuck I wanted to do for university and it sounded fun. Um, got it to by the second year. Uh, also, I also realised that there were very few jobs for this sort of thing so I was trying to sort of branch out and I decided to try to go for sound design for video games. Because hmm. that was sort of 
my thing. Uh, yeah, passed out with a 2 1 at 60.5%. Oh, so I just so scraped a 2-1. Fucking one. barely got a 2-1, yeah, yeah. Jesus. So yeah, 61% <laughs> rounded up. Nice, good um, job. And then <laughs> started on the... Basically needed to work straight away because I had no home to go to. So I was yeah. uh, I, I was with Kath at the time, so we decided we were going to rent a place together. Um, so I had to find work pretty much instantaneously. Uh, and luckily I managed to quite quickly find a job at a new estate agent's, um, attached to a housing association. You were, hey, oh, you were an estate agent? I, I, I was, I was working as a, um, rental, uh, rental person, so I had to sort out rental properties Ooh. for, um, Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't buy cool. anything from you. For a housing association. <laughs> so, um, I was there for a, about six months, give or take. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was fucking soul destroying because it was because it was brand new. There was no one coming in, mm -hmm. yeah. so there was literally nothing to fucking do. Most of it was mm -hmm. just like walking around, handing out flyers and posting spam mail through people's letterboxes and stuff. No, oh, great. Um, <laughs> I got so sick of it, and I was like, right. And, and I was trying all this time. I've been trying to f trying to find a work in for Sanford Games, but the problem is, is that it's one of those it's one of those typical industries where you need experience to get the job mm -hmm. but to but get the, the job, job you need experience oh, uh, so it's yeah. just a it, it's like an incestuous loop that of people who know yeah. other <laughs> other sound designers get those yeah. jobs because they know people and they get the experience and they can apply for new jobs so like there's yeah. very few people actually get in yeah so i was like i gotta fi i gotta find a way to get some experience so i got in contact with a game developer down in swansea a small one but only, only four people but it was enough to like start working for them remotely for free like jake did yeah um sound designing for uh i think it was for an ipad for a couple of ipad games to start off with uh oh, nice. and then cool. about six uh, after about a couple of a couple more months um i took the plunge i had a bit of money saved up from Something completely separate, which I'm not going to go into because it's going to be forever. But my mum became a nun, sold everything, <laughs> and <laughs> gave me and my brothers a bunch of money. So I, yeah. I had some of that saved up. So I used some of that as like to pay myself minimum wage, then go and work and commute to Swansea. So I worked for this the game. I paid myself volunteering for the to, for these uh, this game dev for mm -hmm. about a year to build mm -hmm. up experience. Yeah. Which very nearly worked, actually. Ah, uh, I had damn. two interviews with two different game studios. One in Guildford, who make all the Microsoft Flight Sim games now. Uh, oh, Dove sweet, okay. Dovetail right, games. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, also, if uh, if I, I I came second out out of everyone in this next one for the guys who make Devil May Cry. Biggest prick. Oh, oh shit. So if it oh, was, if man. I hadn't have come second, I would, rather than doing this, I'd have probably been working on, uh, it was when they released DMC Devil May Cry, when they did the re when they did the remake and the reboot. So I'd have been mm. working on that. God damn, you'd have been working had, on Santa was Sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah, and I'd be Do working on Do you regret your life choices or? <laughs> uh, well, no, I, I didn't get the job because I came second. I, uh, annoyingly, it was the. Uh, I think one of the reasons why why I might have come second is uh, if I don't know if Kath remembers this, but my computer broke just yeah, before did, this yeah. interview. Oh my god! So I was doing. I oh. did all my. So bear in mind, I was using Re, I was using a Reaper DAW to like line everything up to yeah. get all the sounds and everything else and do all the editing and stuff. I was doing that on Kath's Toshiba laptop. Yeah. Oh my god! From what like. It was like three or four oh, years old yeah, at the time. Yeah, it was it old. It wasn't a high spec machine. And I oh actually had to. I had to grab the files and everything else and go to a mate's place, install everything on his computer to actually render the fucking thing out because oh Cast Laptop God. couldn't do it. Oh no! The worst um, thing about that was I still came fucking second. So yeah. I think the worst <laughs> thing about that story is that you were the only applicant. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> You're such I'm an so a <laughs> do you know? Do you know who got the position? Actually, you could probably find out, like, because they're probably on the old. You know, she might be on the sound yeah. uh, engineering team of whatever. Yeah. But yeah oh, so, dude. Uh, and then it got to the point after about twelve. Uh, uh, after those two failures, um, it got to the point where I was start. I was starting to eat too much into the spare money we had left over. So we, got, we wanted to get married, and we wanted, we wanted to keep a deposit for a house back as well. Yeah. yeah. So it got to the point where we were eating far enough into it. I was like, but well, oh, we I've basically looked at the sum of money, and we were like, we can get married and buy a house, or 
you can keep doing this and yeah. we might be able to buy a house yeah so I, I took the safe bet home yeah so I took the safe bet and stopped yeah and then had to find work again and the only thing I could find was flipping burgers in central Cardiff uh, at this point I lived on the outskirts and most of my uh, my main shift was Sundays Oh, well, there were no God. trains running. Mm. I'd be there for 8 God. o'clock in the morning. It sounds so depressing. So I had an hour and a half walk every Sunday. Oh, my God. You fucking walked there? Oh, yeah. I lived in Landaf Yeah, from uh, Landaf so I lived in Landaf to North, Central Cardiff. Right next to Junction Fuck. 32 on the M4. And yeah, I had to walk I into remember. Central Cardiff down following the, ta following the Taff River. All the way Oh, up. my God. Every Sunday. <laughs> I, Fuck. And I kept that going for about three months. And fuck me. To all you guys who work in fast food places and whatnot. Mm. more power Shout to out. you because <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ that was the shittest job I've ever mm. done in my life and honestly I would rather starve than do it again it was so <laughs> fucking depressing oh my god it was the worst thing I have ever done and I will never ever ever do it again so you guys who work for KFC McDonald's all that sort of thing when I tell people not to get that job it's not because I think the job's beneath me it's because it was the fucking worst thing I've ever done and I am astounded that you guys can keep it going I got yeah. rejected Jeez. by McDonald's yeah, so honestly, mate. Honestly, for the best, worst, I had worst work well. I've ever done in my life. Was it McDonald's that you worked? No, at? no, it was um, Grace and Another. I think oh, I Grayson consider Chair, myself okay. quite lucky in that respect because I ended up doing more retail work than yeah. I did ever hospitality, yeah. and Fast I think food hospitality sucks. suits some people. <laughs> I think hospitality, like some people, thrive in that environment, and I am not one of those people. Mm. Yeah, fast food fucking sucked. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so I got super fucking depressed, like super, super, super depressed. And I, I, I was like coming home every day, depressed, miserable, knackered and stinking of fucking grease. <laughs> grease and fat. <laughs> so oh what changed? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now so, you think of oh grease. No. <laughs> so eventually, uh, eventually I said, Kathleen, I've got to pack this in. Like, this is killing me. I will yeah. go on the doll. I will go back to job hunting. But this is this is sapping every bit of life I have. And well, it was, was it was negatively impacting our relationship. Yeah, and it was well. barely yeah. enough money to keep us going anyway. Yeah. Um. So I packed that in, started hunting again, and luckily. I took a punt because at that point I'd be doing a lot of um, computer. I'd started like doing a lot of computer work, building more computers and things like that. Yeah. And a place in Bridgend was hiring for a IT support guy, base level. Mm. So I applied for that, and I apparently I only got that. I only got the interview for that because I'd done the game stuff beforehand. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, they were like, oh this guy's interesting. It makes yeah, sense. exactly. Yeah, because yeah. because ah. obviously creative thinking, thinking outside the box, etc. Yeah, exactly. It so makes you a prime candidate. Probably that I absolutely fucking smashed the interview. I only I missed one question from the uh, from the technical side of things. Yeah, that's because I that's, and that was on uh, <laughs> how to input IP addresses. Because of course, in a at home, you don't really need to fuck about with IP addressing unless you have a you know multi computer network or anything. Yeah. Mm. Um, so finally got that job. That's the job where I met Paul, who we were talking about in the previous. In one of the previous Shout out to Paul. Who's yeah. Paul? Shout out to Paul. Um, <laughs> worked there for a year and a bit maybe two years uh, yeah. built up a lot of experience and then my mate who I'm still really good friends with now went to join the police yeah uh, as, an you IT, followed as suit. a network engineer he wanted me to apply for that job for another job with him in that same department mm. uh, but at the same time there was a, uh, a job with the devices department which is actually more my thing I'm not much of a network guy I'm more a uh, physical hardware box and software right um so i applied for that got that job worked there for two years as support then applied for the promotion got promoted to so. a senior engineer uh, so i was technically a senior officer in the police at that point um <laughs> and then <Ooh. laughs> stayed there for about another year or so and this at this point I, at this point from when i started, started my it work onwards mm. that was pretty much when i started doing playing games with jake and whatnot and helping out with like what little not? bits of stuff um <laughs> and then what was it 2018 2019 2018 2019 um yeah it was had a bit of a, a bit of a a mental hiccup let's say 
and um just a smidge everything went sort of shits up and i was not in a good place and at that point jake was like you know we're probably making just about enough money for me to like if you want to learn to edit like f to employ you and i was like oh yeah you know what i'm gonna fuck it we're taking the risk so yeah. i can my job uh and then started editing for pre-made that was it. That must have been like fucking pretty high risk though, because I remember at the start it was, it was fucking like, terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Um, <but laughs> yeah, yeah. Like... To, to, to put it in perspective, Kath hadn't been working since 2016. 2017. Yeah. 2017. So for two years she hadn't been working. So I was mm -hmm. the I was the sole income provider. Um, uh, I think I was probably on about twenty eight, twenty nine thousand pound a year at the time. Yeah. And I binned it all in for. Not that a lot less. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. A, lot less. Definitely not a lot, that. lot less. But yeah. enough, enough that without the commuting, buying lunch, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, yeah, um, and you could be at home, yeah, like work from home and look after cats. Yeah. So yeah. that was yeah. the first forty years of your life. What happened in the next ten? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, did, I told you, I did. I had, I had a lot going on. Mm. A yeah. lot going. Well, it's on. good because it shows people that all paths are not linear. No, you know, it's not just. I yep. woke up one day, decided to be a content creator, yeah. and yeah, now no, I'm no, here. Like I also, I, I did also forgot to say all the shit jobs that I did as well. I completely fucking skipped my mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but I used to work as uh, um, in a in a cafe in a cafe for uh, Wessex Water, um, nice. <laughs> sort of like coffee and stuff. Uh, I did pizza delivery for Domino's. Mm. Um, I then did like landscaping and gardening as well. Oh, so you done, uh, wasn't it? No, 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 that was just for another person oh. uh, who I knew from the bar. Another person scene. he called Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Which is hilarious because of your hay fever issue. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Uh, it wasn't It wasn't so bad then, I don't think. I don't know why. I mean, it was bad. I can't remember it being particularly bad when I was doing those jobs. And then, uh, yeah, then I worked as a uh, in a wedding venue as a waiter and barman. <laughs> I worked so as a wedding got, venue. <laughs> if you ever got married at Priston Mill, in just outside Bath, then there's a good chance that I was at your wedding <laughs> in the background, like dropping, dropping glasses, champagne flutes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. no, I didn't drop that much stuff. Um, but yeah, what about you, Gabby? Do you want to go? I think we should do Kath and then me, just because okay. everybody already knows from many jokes what I was in. So mm. <laughs> yeah, I it makes sense. What are you was in? It? I don't yeah. remember finance. Oh. Yeah, that was it. Was it something? something uh, ast uh, astronomy. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> God, that's a bit of a step down, isn't it? For astronomer to content creator. <laughs> yeah, just a touch. Yeah. Astrology. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> Nuclear physicist to uh, yeah. to, to worst dick ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you laugh, but that's basically what happened to Harry Hill. He, he's a he's a qualified doctor, isn't he? Now he's a comedian. Yeah, true. Oh, that's true. Yeah, true, yeah. True. I guess it depends what you're what you're ought to do. Yeah. I mean, it's, Go, it's a doctor of desks, but... Uh, so I went to uni. I did a... B I had a BA on in English literature. So that was mm -hmm. three years. Yeah, three years worth of uni. Um, I got a 2-2, which is essentially a... What? Like a C? And it's, B. Uh, it's a B. Is it a B? Is it a B? I think it's a C, dude. No, it's B, A, A star. Oh, oh, okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, you just added an yeah. A, a yeah. there to make what, you... So a third a, is a C. A third is a C. <laughs> a third is a C. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, I don't think so, I'm, mate. Because that's I'm, like... This, that's what, that's, that's what, like 40 to 50%. That's what that's I'm not saying. This is jargon to me. I've literally got no idea what you're saying. Mm, okay. As, as oh, in, I got as in okay. grade wise, so C, A, C, B, A, A star, or A plus, okay. is usually C, 50, B, 60, A, A 70... A star Ooh. is above. Above 70. Yeah, normally. Yeah. Right, okay. Okay, Sorry, so Catherine. I got a 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> I worked all the way through uni. So that was... I had so many jobs. I was working in uni, whilst in uni. Most of it was in either shops. as like a shop assistant. Um, I worked in cafes. I worked in bars. I did a lot of night shifts. <laughs> um... So I worked all the way through university, uh, ended up getting really, really poorly towards the end of um, my third year. So I ended up getting an extension on my dissertation. Oh, cool. So then did dissertation. So basically because I was working all the time, um, 
I have a lot of chronic health issues, so working constantly in uni, just those, uh, just the amount of stress and stuff that I was under as well. Um, I really, really struggled, so I got a lesser mark as a result mm. of it because mm. I couldn't put all my concentration into uni. And realistically, the degree I was doing wasn't the right degree for me anyway. Um, I was. Mm. I got diagnosed with really bad dyslexia like halfway through my degree. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I'm doing a literature degree and I can't fucking read. Yeah. Great. All right. All English, right. English in literature, they should have called it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I shouldn't have been doing English literature anyway because my. What can you do with a BA in English? <laughs> I think you'll find the tune is What do you do with a BA in English? That's you become a. You become an English teacher. What yeah. is my life going to be? And extra points <laughs> if you know what that musical is. Mm-hmm. Um, Where is that from? That's from Avenue Q. It's literally the first line of Avenue yeah. Q. Oh, right. <laughs> it's it's the, same. the puppet has gone and gotten itself a BA in English. It's sat there going, what do oh, I do with my yeah. life now? It's the same same musical that had, that had the internet as for porn song. Oh, 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 okay, okay, right, I got it. Okay. Porn, the internet, the internet's for porn. porn. So grab your dick, dick and double, and double click, click for porn, 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 porn. That's having EQ. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's basically the Muppets EQ. on crack. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's yeah. absolutely fantastic. <laughs> um, so yeah, I finished uni. Um, I basically handed in my dissertation. And at the time I was a manager in a shop. Um, I went on holiday for a week. I came home as I got off the plane. I had a phone call from one of my employees saying, "There's bailiffs in the shop. You need to get here now." Um, oh my god! I actually got off the plane <laughs> at seven in the morning. Got off the plane, went straight into Cardiff. Um, and I got there, and yeah, there were bailiffs there. So I basically said, "Right," I said, "I'll unlock the shop for you. There's no point in you unlock it. You like breaking the doors down." I was like, "I'll unlock it for you." However, I was like, "I am paying my staff first, and then you can have whatever's left in the safe." Um, so I did that. What, sure was that what did that happen? Was it like was something dodgy going on behind? Uh, the entirety of the company went into liquidation. Oh, so and they had, they had debts. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Um, and we were like one of the last stores still open. Oh uh, my God. So, that's, <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. So I that because they forgot got there, about you? Paid everyone. Probably, yeah. Paid everyone and then they took the rest. Um, there wasn't much left because yeah. we're a little they're, what, they're, like, fuck, they're like fucking vultures, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, so then after that then I think I was on the dole for a little bit and then oh, I yeah. worked in Sports Direct for a month um, that's a sports shop in the UK if you don't know what that is it's uh, one of the Donald's of sports shops isn't it yeah, was, yeah was, I, so I worked in the stock room that was and Christmas I think, time wasn't it because it was Christmas no, time no it was just before that was it um, I got really really ill oh, because was, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was working I had to be there for 4am um, oh, hell, really? so I was doing horrible. like 4 a.m. till 11 a.m. shift, mm. and then quite often, then they would want me to come back at 2 p.m. and do it until close at nine. What the fuck mm. is? Are you serious? Yeah. Um, yep. And this made me so ill that I my yeah. uh, I've got a heart condition, so I started to develop arrhythmia, um, yep. which is basically where your heart uh, doesn't have an even beat and it misses yep. beats or it like goes too fast. Um, so I had to stop because I was just like, I'm literally going to put myself in hospital if I'm not careful. Yeah. Um, so then I got a job working in HR um, oh, yeah, for yeah. a Her. factory who made cakes. So <laughs> I went there. Cool. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that's industrial. <laughs> made cakes. <laughs> they made cakes. Cakes. Yes, cakes. Um, they basically didn't want to uh, they they had a grant from the government um and basically once it got past the probation period they had to pay more and the company right. had to contribute more so they fired me the day before my probation ended oh what the what? fuck dude are you serious that's, that's an hr so violation scummy. you should have taken yeah, that. yeah i know right <laughs> um so then i think i was unemployed for like two weeks then went into recruitment Oh, yeah. uh, worked in recruitment for three years something cool. like that so I worked in technical recruitment which is like engineering and um, lean management and all that sort of stuff I mm. then went into then you got ill 
Then I got ill. Mentally ill this time, though, I think it was. No, physically, I was in hospital f- in a, oh, no, that was off, the, like, that was, that was hospital over Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't was spend, two, was two don't years spend ra- Christmas in hospital. Yeah. It's shit. It was, it was two years <laughs> rather than three, by the way. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I left... I f- uh, lost my job there because for being ill I then th- you'll find this is a pattern yeah um, <laughs> this is, this is going to be a regular occurrence um, so I then went to work for um, a recruitment company that recruited for teachers so I yeah. went to work for them for a bit um, I then got sacked from there for being ill <laughs> uh, I then went to work in um, property management so I managed something like 250 to 300 properties remotely um, yeah. All my properties were based in Southampton. I was based. In oh, Cardiff. but then you were you were in Wales. Yeah. How the fuck you? Spe- <laughs> what the fuck, dude? By having like, very good connections with uh, tradies in Southampton. Like, right. why did they pick Wales of all places? Because that was where cheap. the main hub was. So there were people in Wild. the main hub in the in the office that I was in, and there were people managing properties in areas all over the UK. Um, so like someone across from me for example they were managing a bunch of properties in Crawley um, in London Wales oh. and the North, especially, tend to have Wales. a lot of places like that because pro- the offices, <laughs> office spaces are cheap, and also compared mm. to the rest of the UK, you can pay people less. Ah, uh, yeah. I was yeah, going to yeah. say, is this the equivalent of outsourcing to like India or exactly yeah, the yeah. Philippines? But it's, it's, but it's, it's, it's local. Out, it's local outsourcing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. So I worked there, and then end of 2015, I basically got diagnosed with early onset menopause and ovarian failure which meant that I wasn't going to be able to have kids so oh, fuck. Ellis and I were due to be getting married in 2016 I ended up then having like a serious mental breakdown from mm. all the different bits and bobs um, so didn't go back to work got married in 2016 um, kept trying to get better like working on myself loads of therapy and blah 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 went back to work in 2017 which was for DWP, which yep. deal with Department of Work and Pensions, uh, who deal with the, the my department was dealing with personal dependence payment. Um, again, I got really ill, had a major mental breakdown, which ended up in the noobs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so when yep. people Google my name, that is the first article that comes up. Um, yeah, I would just like to point out, it is not appropriate to keep linking that to me. People who do that in my DMs, please don't do that. Um, it's kind of wild. Did it as happens. a way of trying to raise awareness for the fact that there was no help at the time when Ella Snow were really struggling. <laughs> it was at, not, not at the time, there still isn't. Well, still isn't. Yeah. Um, they go. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah. It was, <laughs> Bye. It was, it was, it was that was a shit time. time. That was a time. Um, so then. 2017 was when May 2017 was when Ellis and I started doing stuff with WPE. Um, I yeah, basically never went back to a normal job in inverted commas. Yeah. Um, and just started doing streams of WPE, and I started my channel, I think, in the November of 2017, um, as yeah. a way to try and help myself from the previous mental breakdown from a month ago. Because you were being sat at home doing absolutely nothing. Because I was sat nothing. at home doing nothing. Mm. Yeah. Um, I remember having like chats with you about like how you could start up your own yeah, channel and yeah. do stuff and you yeah, because yeah, spent uh, about a grand buying you a decent laptop, didn't we? So you could sit mm-hmm. on the sofa and it'd be comfortable and everything. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I back then I would literally stream every single day, but that was because I was on my own all day every day. I didn't have a dog at the time. I didn't have and uh, all my other friends and stuff were all working full time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ellis was working full time. Yeah. And we would only stream with WP. I think it was 7.30 in the evening. Yeah. So I'd oh, be sat God. at home all day on my own. <laughs> so I basically just used to stream. And that's how yeah. I started my channel, was a way of helping my mental health and giving myself something to actually yeah. do. And try and get yeah. a bit of extra income, because it was like, give or take, realistically, bar that sort of small six month period, from 2015 till 2018, mm. I think, when you, we started it. No, 20, 2019, when we started earning a bit of extra money from... The main channel that was yeah, yeah. That we, we we were a single income household yeah. So basically yeah. what i earned was everything so we, we are, were exceptionally poor we for had a two, long time we had, we had two people living off majority of the time i was on like 20 One thousand income. pounds yeah fucking hell and then when i got to the police i got went from 20 to 23 and then when i finally got promoted i went to 29 27 and then worked at 29 and then 
fucking gambled it all <laughs> on, the, yeah. on this. Yeah. 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 But oh, man. Yeah. and that's basically where we where we are now. So, um, yeah. Those yeah. seven, it was a time. Those seven thirty seven o'clock. Started from the bottom. Now we here. Those seven thirty seven o'clock streams were rough. Oh, they were. I know. They were yeah. So rough. I used we're to all, fucking all... edit afterwards as well. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. I, remember like... I used to do clip hunting for you, didn't I? Back. Yeah. I, I used yeah, to cut out the clips for you. I remember yeah. there were entire weeks I just co- uh, entire weeks I just couldn't join in. Yeah. Yeah, because you were had late late, late shifts, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was either se- it was either eleven sevens or twelve eights. Tw- yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. I, I remember, remember, I remember that because like we, like <laughs> we got this like really really cheap office in Cardiff. Yeah. And like um because I was I was basically in uh Mark Andrews famous wrestler's uh spare room like renting a room off him and like i remember <laughs> i was like oh fuck okay we better get an office because i'm like <laughs> it was like text messages from him being like jake like get, you're right to keep the noise down a bit like the neighbors <laughs> might think we're having an argument or something like that happens like a couple of times i was like oh yeah, yeah better, better time to move out <laughs> and we, we did that uh, one stream in your in your house where it was just me and you yeah yeah and we did that we did uh we did keep that. talking and everybody yeah, explodes bomb yeah thing. and we yeah. were like honestly basically sat in each other's lap every time we tried to move our hands we were stroking each other's crotches yeah like the, ama- the amount of it was maybe ridiculous. that was the intention like oh, yeah. what, so what, and then, what we, and then we started know, streaming yeah it's like <laughs> we were sat next on. to each other and directly behind us basically touching our backs was a green screen yeah, and then oh, directly behind that was the bed and that it was, was it that was the yeah. entire room <laughs> yeah um yep mm. so ah, oh, and then um but yeah, I, I remember those streams because it was like it was so fucking late. like now. Imagine if we did that now, like starting at seven thirty and finishing at like ten thirty, eleven. Like yeah. fuck, man. Because I wasn't getting back to like eleven thirty, twelve every single That's day. That's definitely past like, your bedtime anyway, Jake. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, I, well, I had the ability to actually sleep past fucking seven a.m. back then. I yeah. could wake up at nine and actually have a good, still relatively good night of sleep. You know, uh, um, it yeah. all changed. It all well, COVID kind of we came hit, along. Yeah. And yeah, it sort of helped was, us in a way. Oh, big! Like we wouldn't be. Oh no, no, yeah, are. definitely. I'm t- like COVID is a shitty thing as it was. Was one hundred percent beneficial. Yeah. Not in the grand. St- no. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you mean is like because everyone was in lockdown. Yes, um, everyone was at home. Not the fact that people the... were dying. I'm not saying that's yeah, yeah, beneficial. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> because yeah, everyone, everyone, yeah, we know, we know what you mean. Everyone was at home like with nothing to do, yeah. uh, and then suddenly the channel just went. Yeah, it was and huge. then it, it kind of put us in a position to, um, like. Like essentially hire hire people and to yep. level up the channel to the mm-hmm. next stage. Um, but uh, like, because we had a YouTube rep and he's like, these numbers are, are like really impressive for your size. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, and are. that was after because because what he saw was a lot of channels like did boom in COVID, but their numbers went back down afterwards. But we actually like managed, sus- to, managed sustain to, sus- to sustain the numbers and then also increase them on top of that. Mm. So like. Um, yeah, so that was good <sighs> to hear that. But yeah, but COVID obviously wasn't a good time for everyone. We all suffered in our own ways. Yeah. Yeah. But the channel, Definitely. at least the, there is a, a very small silver lining that the channel was able to then Do support us all. Um, yeah. 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 So what, and, then it, and then some into the future. Yeah. yeah. So what about you, Gabby? Uh, I think it was something about some sort of design. I think you did. Uh, I can't remember. Of the, of the possibly graphic variety. Was it, was it some sort of graph? <laughs> Graphical, graphical design. Oh, no, it was graphing. It was Excel graph, graphing. Graphing. That's de- it. That's <laughs> graphing. That's graphing. Des- graph, graphing. Graph grooming. Graph so not destiny. many people know this, but I was born with a pencil in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I was born with a pen. Anyway. I've been designing since day dot. <laughs> um, <laughs> I redecorated the inside of my mother's womb. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. It was great. Fuck it out. I was well. Mm. I was Sorry, always into drawing, if you're <laughs> right? And I, I was one of those kids who got really passionate about coloring in competitions. Oh, so, I did as well. Yeah, I would always win them. Always. <laughs> I just, I was like competitive about coloring in competitions. Um, and yeah, I was always like into drawing. And I think I'd mentioned on the channel before that. I accidentally got into it. I enjoyed drawing, but I never thought of it as like a career, if that makes any mm-hmm. sense. Um, my, yeah, <laughs> my career history is much like you guys, a bit all over the place, I think. Yeah. Um, I kind Why don't you of, go from uni? 
Well, I'm going to go just before. Okay. <laughs> so I kind of want to give people the honest story of what happened with me, um, which was I was in high school and I had uh, no clue what I was doing, but I knew that I was the art student. I'm using quotation marks there for anyone who is not watching the video. Um, and because of that, there was a lot of, um, I don't know if the word was pressure, but there was an expectation mm. uh, because I don't know if they do it here. I don't think you can. In New Zealand, I was put up a year. In, uh, uh, I don't think they do that here, no. Yeah, so in fine arts, I completed that a year before I was meant to. And so my final year, my arts teacher was like, look, you need to do a art subject. I don't care. Just pick one. You're doing it. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, <laughs> so I did graphic design. Um, I went in final year having no clue what I was doing. My mm -hmm. first assignment, everything was on one layer. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I basically had never used Photoshop before in my life. I was shit in the bed and freaking out. Um, so towards the end of that year, um, my high school best friend and I were looking at going down to university. I didn't know what the hell I wanted to do. I know I liked hanging out with her. We were playing music. It was all a really good time. And so we were going to go down and live in a city with um, her and her sister. And unfortunately, um, her sister passed away. Hmm. the day before I was meant to go down and see if I liked the city that I was going to go live in. And so I'm not going to go into the intricacies of that, but I will let everyone know it was really shit. Hmm. It was monumentally shit for everyone involved. But I freaked out because I was presented with a situation here. And you guys tell me what you would do. Would you rather stay in a small town and be depressed and hate yourself because the expectation was that you were meant to go to university after mm -hmm. you finished school or go to the town that you'd never seen anyway and be depressed at university. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, first uh, one. First one, yeah. You, 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 I picked you, option two. I'd pick option, option one because you, you, if you're going to be depressed, you might as well be depressed in somewhere you know. Well, see, that's what I should have done, Alex. That I should have done that. <laughs> But I didn't, um, especially because I think at that age, I was very much like, th there's this pressure after high school as well, where like everyone's going off to university and all the people that you know are going off to do really cool things. And then if you were reflecting on yourself just in a small town, trying to get over what the hell just happened to you, that for me was like, nah, I just need to go. And mm. so I went down to this, this small town and I picked up fine arts and I don't know why I did that. <laughs> this is for me. <laughs> I do, yeah, I, do. I shall do this. I'm going to do fine art. And I got there and it was so fucking weird. <laughs> it was, there was like some, I remember just some lady who had dreadlocks who smelled like she hadn't showered in like a week was giving us <laughs> a presentation like on like how she had like managed to gather the ether and channel oh that energy into her into her painting and her artwork and i was sitting there like i made a pokeball out of aluminium <laughs> yeah cool okay <laughs> so, like, i was just kind of fucking around and then realized like what the hell am i doing here uh drank far too much drank far too much i was not in a good space um yeah. ran away from the city that i was meant to be in and then uh eventually decided i was gonna drop out so that was my first stint at university. Second stint was uh, at Christchurch University in New Zealand, where I decided to do psychology, sociology, anthropology, and art history. That's um, a mixture. Yeah. Funnily enough, I was still depressed. What? Yeah, apparently the feelings <laughs> did not go away. Uh, <laughs> you have to feel those feelings. And um, I, I hated it, actually, because I was forced to, like, you have to write papers. And I enjoyed the psychological aspect. I enjoyed learning. But when mm. you asked me to write it, I was like, what, what's the point? I'm not making anything. There's no output. And everyone just sat in lecture theaters and looked depressed. Like I wasn't making friends. I couldn't like connect with people because everyone was just like, Ugh, and they would go home. I was also drinking, would not recommend that. So at that point I was like, I needed to go recover. I, at that point, I was like, shit, I fucked up. I'm in debt big time. <laughs> uh, and so Two attempts I, at university, like... <laughs> yeah, and so then I was like, okay, my career. I'm going to start working. I should earn money now. 
uh, and I got a job in a jewelry shop um, and just kind of worked there for a couple of years until eventually I said to myself, like, look, this is this is enough. I need to go back to university. I think I'm probably going to go do graphic design. And Thank I realized you, there the rest is, is history. <laughs> 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 I know it's because I realized the graphic design was the combination of the psychological part of the marketing mm-hmm. combined with the creative output of the fine arts. Mm-hmm. And ah. you could actually use it to make money. But the fine arts, I was like, hmm. Mm, how how am I gonna live? Like I don't. I think it's important that people are creative, and if you are exceptionally great at it. But I didn't like painting. I like drawing, um, and people don't care about drawing. They care about paintings. So I'm I was so like, nice. okay. Went and moved up to Auckland, and that is where I met Nicholas. Nicholas. In the same degree. That degree took me about three years. Um, I can't remember what I graduated with, but. I think it was good. Okay, so there cool. we go. <laughs> Going to put that there. I, th- I generally aimed to get some pretty high marks. Did I you was pass? Definitely. With with the with the distinction. I wasn't top of my class, but I think I was, I was up there. Were you like sixty nine point five percent like me? <laughs> I don't know what that means, nice. but my general <laughs> nice. <laughs> my general pass grade was probably about A minus. Okay, That's cool. So that's probably like probably sixty nine. Right. Yeah. Nice. Which was like, I'm kind of trying to prove to myself as well the fact that I could do this because I just spent like two times going to university and dropping out. Mm-hmm. Um, compounded now by knowing that I had ADHD, uh, yeah. that makes a lot more sense to me and I don't judge myself as much about that anymore. After I finished uni, much like Jake, I had a panic attack and went, fuck, I'm going into the real world. <laughs> ah, panic. Um, and then I was working in a tea shop um, so during university, I was working in a plus size clothing store, which I really liked. Um, Is and that City Chic? Yes. Cool. They got shout, me, shout out to City Chic. I quite yeah. like their clothes. And then at the time, I was like, shit, um, they, there was like a change of management. And I was like, yo, she crazy. So I just tapped out of that store and then worked at the tea <laughs> store across the road, um, which was like a really cool job. Uh, but was panicking because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So I kind of just went back to university. Okay. Um, <laughs> And I did a uh, diploma of creative advertising, which essentially got me into the whole art direction space. Um, and at this point, Nick had gone off and actually started work in a graphic design company. And uh, a lot of my mates at uni that finished up went on to do uh, like working in careers and jobs and big kid jobs. And I was sitting there being like, fuck, I feel like a bit of a piece of shit because I just went back to university. <laughs> Like, why, why do you feel like we should going back? That's fine, isn't it? Well, it was because, like, at that point, the rest of your um, social group is, like, earning money. Uh, okay. Oh, so all your peers have, like, been, like, I'm going to go work in the real world. All your peers are earning money, and yeah, yeah. they are getting real-world experience. And yeah. I was at university. And because I cannot explain how intensive this course was, it was like you were meant to be in there at 8 o'clock, and you weren't meant to leave <laughs> the classroom until, like, 10 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. Um, it was... That is very intense. It was intensive. I, like, I cannot... Exp- my mental health took such a hit during that year. Yeah. Um, but I have learned some amazing things from that course. Amazing things. The way that I seen do shit. And what ended up happening from there was after... I didn't realize this, but when I signed up for it, apparently you get a job in the industry after. Oh. So... So yeah, after I finished up uh, uni, I, I managed to get that one with distinction, the diploma of Nailed creative it. advertising. <laughs> yep, um, which made a lot of people upset. <laughs> oh really? Why? Because my portfolio was a shit show. My creative partner at the time, like we were basically the class clowns. Um, and <laughs> that was all surprising. Yeah, and we were all over the place, and um, there was lots of crying and tears, and people working really, really hard to get it. Oh. And then, but because it's creative advertising, the point is that you're meant to be a bit loopy and weird, and then you end up getting distinction, and then everyone hates you because you're like, right, I see. You know what I mean? And yeah, yeah, yeah. In a weird way, it was also quite difficult because, like, um, and ironic, we both now do not work in advertising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just do things for fun and leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally what it was like. Um, and so I went on to then do a internship at a well-known established advertising agency. 
mm-hmm. which decided to then pay us in gift cards. Wow. And I had to effectively, I don't think it's money laundering, but I, I kind of had to like- <laughs> I had to money laundering. <laughs> I had to pay myself through a credit card to pay my rent. Fucking so you basically got fuck? given you got given gift cards for a certain mall, Isn't that right? Illegal. Yes. Well, yes. Yeah. And <laughs> definitely. So yeah, I ended up I ended up getting paid in gift cards, which <sighs> like I don't they didn't officially say it was pay, but they said, "Hey, we'll give you this." Uh, and I was like, "Okay." But and the thing is is that it's very typical of that industry. It's very much like work for exposure, and then you're like, oh, "How do yeah. I eat? Uh, get paid in exposure dollars." So you, have, so you have to like launder your own paycheck basically kind of expose yourself and get paid well yeah because those cards could only be used at certain shops and or a mall Mm. turns out that you could use them on uh paypal okay right so i paypaled the money into my paypal account and then transferred that to my bank account incurring a loss of some of that money Mm. because paypal PayPal charges yeah but i could then pay my rent that's so scummy, isn't it? At that why why point, did they do that? Was that just so they could so they could easily dispose of you if you? Uh, it was possibly also so that um, they don't have traceable outgoings. Um, mm. Mm. Also, tax it's going to be off. a lot hard. Yeah, it's going to be a lot harder to trace employer it like p- paying employees if there's no cash going out yeah. yeah. But more, so, more importantly, it's a tax write off because technically, if you're buying gift cards, you say they're a gift. If yeah. it's a gift, mm. therefore it's not taxable. So yeah. I know, but so is, so is actually paying employees. Nah, paying That's also em- paying, no, paying employees, you still have to pay. Well, over here, anyway, you still got to pay VAT. Uh, not VAT. Um, you got to pay tax for that employer's salary, and you've got to pay national insurance contributions as well. For example, in the UK, so if oh, you yeah. paid via gift card, you wouldn't have uh, to pay anything other than whatever those, their yeah. pay is. Hold on, Gab- is, that what, is that the reason? Wait, wait, Gabby, did you sign a contract with them at any point? I don't think so. Then it's then it's not illegal. You weren't you weren't employed. Oh yeah, well, yeah. They can oh, yeah I think there was a. It's shady as fuck. It's sh- yeah, no, don't get me wrong. It's, it's shady and immoral, but it's scummy. Illegal, but there was a bit of paper that I signed. I think at the beginning, which was just the expectation right. that I would be there at set time, and yeah, this yeah. would be a month long internship. Internship, mm-hmm. yeah, it's not. And so they basically covered time. themselves in that respect, which you yeah. know, like I understand yeah. the industry did what they did, and when you go into the industry, you have to then accept the fact that you will be selling your soul to the devil. Mm-hmm you are going into this knowing that you're meant to like the hustle and <laughs> not care about the ramifications of what this industry will do to you. Oh, um, God. Everyone was an alcoholic. I imagine Every, a lot of cocaine. A lot, I've got a story about that later. Yeah. A lot of cocaine. <laughs> um, you know, there was lots of betting and gambling taking place. Uh, okay. Like I haven't seen Mad Men, although I've got every intention to do it, but I can mm. imagine it's a lot like that. And it's all run by white men. All Sounds very it. similar to recruitment. And in New, in New Zealand, it's all British, English, white men who've gone over there and then are working in positions of power. Like, mm. and, and it's like, there are a few women scattered around, not to say that there isn't, but like, it's a lot harder to kind of get into the boys club. Um, mm. And it's one of the only times, like I've, I've experienced issues around sexism. I know it's a hot topic to bring up, but like, it's one of the only times in my life where I was like, oh, Oh, okay. I, I yeah. see it. There yeah. are there's definitely some industries that have just act, yeah. ha- yep. like there's no arguing. They just have frat boy mentalities. Yep. Yeah. Stop and if trading you're not one of them, being one of them. Yep. yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, recruitment. <laughs> recruitment being another, yep. Yep. and then uh, advertise. Basically, anything that involves high pressure sales as well tends yep. to be boys yep. frat club and drugs and shit everywhere. It's yep. insane. And at that Insurance. point, I ended up being like at the end of the internship because my partner didn't even want to do it. He was like, look, I'll do the internship with you. Get some experience and I'm tapping out. I was like, okay, fair enough. I got into a state of like, shit, all my friends from uni are working high paying jobs. I finished uni. I got a internship, but like I've got no money coming in. And I just kind of freaked out and be like, dude, I've been wanting to travel since 2012. I'm just going to go. So I saved up money, went overseas for a bit. While I was overseas, one of the people in my class commented um, on my stuff and was just like, hey dude, like I need a partner. My one's dropped out or whatever. Do you want to meet up? I managed to get a job at another advertising agency while I was overseas. So I was like, cool, I'm going to come back for that. Another big company went into it. The most depressed that I have been in my adult life. Mm. It was horrible. 
It was horrific. You were meant to be in, I got there arriving some mornings at 7.30 and staying until 10 or 11 o'clock at night. I put on the most weight I ever have in my life working in that job because I wasn't eating well. I was like mm. ordering takeaway all the time because you couldn't go home to eat. And I fucked up my stomach because I would go in in the morning and have a shot of espresso as breakfast. It was yeah. horrible. And then- That sounds nice. Uh, like during that time, <laughs> just the amount of stuff that went wrong, like it, it was just, I remember like sitting vividly at this desk. My boss comes into the room. He kind of puts his hands on the table around everyone. And he's like, How long right, were his guys? arms? <laughs> Except <laughs> everyone. Mr. Yeah. Tickle walks in. in. <laughs> he, puts, he puts his hands on the table and he says, you've got until 12 o'clock to come up with an award-winning idea internationally. Go. What the fuck? And everyone's shitting the bed because they're this company, that, not just the company, it's the industry, has its own award system that it's kind of put in place, like Keynes International, Festival of Creativity, whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and you go... What? And you have to just do it? Um, and yeah, it, it was just so bad. There's so many stories I could tell from this, but I, at the end of the day, I appreciate the experience I had, but it was not for me. It was there not for me. There are some horrific stories that you told me. I've that, got like, a few stories. I don't know if you could repeat them here, but like it, it was bad. It was like fucking Wolf of Wall Street mm. type you bad. Get, like I, yeah. I can think. I've actually got a few because the uh, when I was working in insurance, they did their they did their own award show type thing. They hired out a big venue. Oh. And, mm. yeah, yeah, a lot sad. Of but in the in basically the party thing afterward, the party thing afterwards, drugs and threesomes in the toilets. Oh mm. my yeah. god! Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, yes. there was a work email oh, sent around <laughs> in, in the creative department at the place that I worked for saying, hi, can we please stop having sex on the meeting room desk? Oh, <laughs> and oh it was like, God. what the fuck? Like, apparently the yeah. cleaners caught someone and the dude was having an affair or some shit like that. Oh, oh, so uh, the other, the other one is getting a promotion. There was a lot of um, boinking to get promotions because there were yep. definitely managers who would not be in that position had they not shagged Oh, the yeah, there was a yep. lot of that in the recruitment places. Hey, these these yep. industries, they're just dark. It's oh, wild. God. And then I remember... Oh. So there was no one ever slept party. with me to get a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You should have put your application in. Yeah. <laughs> I would have slept with him. I mean, what? Uh, <laughs> no, but at the Christmas party... Everyone was getting crazy with it. And I was like, look, I'm too depressed and sad for this. I'm just going to go home and watch Netflix. The next day came in and they were doing the, the kind of weekly meeting where everyone was catching up. And one of the creative directors who was talking to the client at the time, nose started pissing with blood during a presentation <laughs> because Oof, she'd yeah. been in the bathroom okay. the night before. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Blasting it. Blasting it up the, up the nose. Yeah. And I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> and at this point, um, luckily, my the the chief creative officer took me and my partner into a room and said to us, I'm so sorry, but um following the next year, you know, at the end of this this year, uh we're we're gonna have to let you go because we don't have the budget to keep you. I'm spent and it all on cocaine. <laughs> my, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my partner, I think, was like, you know, I but previous to that I told her that I was kind of dead inside. Um <laughs> and I as soon as he said that, he was like, I was like, I'll go, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, such a shame. Oh, I've been bloody well oh, fired. Oh, God, no. what will I do? Oh, and so then I went home and I was like, yes. <laughs> and like, Nick and the people I was staying with at the time can attest to this. He saw me have my soul sucked out my body for like the nine months that I was working there. I have a genuine question for you. Yeah. Why didn't you just leave and find something new? It's because I, I had that same thing happen to me. I, mm -hmm. I just tapped the fuck out. I was like, I'm not. I had I'm a mental not, breakdown. Yeah, I'm not. Re I'm not risking everything for some other dickhead um, to make their money. I'm. I'm out. Mm. Yeah, it's a combination of things. Mm. It was the fact that I'd spent th three years doing a graphic design degree, one additional year specialising, the cost of my student loan that I put into that to then have the expectation and the help from my tutors of earning the distinction diploma to go into this industry and mm. thrive and be told that you could do well and earn awards and only to get there and go, if I back out, I have wasted the past four years of my life. Mm. And while mm. now I know that isn't true, I know that isn't true, 
at the time I felt I owed it to my creative partner because you work in a team, your old lecturer who got you the job. I, I was in this state of like, I need to do this not just for me, but for other people. And oh, it yeah. wasn't until I got to the end of that that I said, oh my God, fuck this. Yeah. I, I was so <laughs> depressed at one point, I was trying to write a word down and I essentially could, I couldn't remember how to spell. And it was the only time in my life I think, oh my God, my brain is so shriveled <laughs> right now mm -hmm. that um, I'm having episodes of like, uh, what's it called? Insanity. Like, uh, well, like, um, not Alzheimer's, like dementia, like mm. dementia yeah. episodes yeah, yeah. because yeah. of how sad I was. Yeah. Um, and so I said, fuck it. And I moved home with my mum at the ripe age of 26, 25, mm. was nice. it 25, 26? Yeah. Um, Ladies and gentlemen who are watching, do not do what Gabby did. If you do not let other people's expectations stick you in a place which yes. is destroying you, learn from my mistakes. Yeah, don't well, do it. I, I only get quit. the fuck out. I only quit yeah. my job when I had a breakdown. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got and home and I just, I just, I just started crying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and sometimes, like that, that change will be the best thing that you would have ever done, mm -hmm. even though it's so scary to do it in the first place. And I, when I moved home. Um, I ended up going into a virtual assistant role, a graphic design virtual assistant role. Boom, there it is. <laughs> yeah, which was just like, client wants a, a business card. I'm like, here it is. It took me five minutes to make, have it. And then they go, cool, you can go home on time. And I'm like, what? And I had this weird, almost like PTSD from my previous job where I had a, a, a caring boss, a caring manager, uh, team who wanted to protect me against any dick clients um, and getting paid a reasonable wage for it. And I just ended up being like, oh my, oh God. my God, I had like, yeah. <laughs> when, yeah did you, was... when did you wake up? <laughs> <laughs> when I joined the channel and I met you. <laughs> yeah, sorry. God, um, time to smell the coffee. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, during that time, I just uh, stayed at home, helped my gran who did have dementia, saved mm. money and then went overseas. Mm. By the time I got here, I got a job in Ikea, had to be humbled because the UK employment system was not having it with me even though you have experience on the books does not care because you haven't worked in the country before nope. so mm. i had to go right back to square one um and then yeah i picked up doing editing slash design slash whatever the fuck else jake wanted <laughs> keeping jake me. in check and make sure he remembers to they go for a piss and put his head on in the morning. And... Well, that's nowadays. That's yeah. definitely nowadays. At the Do I go beginning. for a piss yet? I can't remember. Yeah, it was just straight. Puts his hair band on. Yeah. yeah. Wipes his arse. Look for yeah. his sleeves. Yeah. I know. Oh, so, shit. I knew I forgot something. Yeah. But that's my employment history. And I guess just like, I, uh, the reason I wanted to make it very clear kind of that from beginning to end was just like, I want people to know that shit is not linear. Yep. Bad stuff happens. Yep. But like, if you keep cracking at it, Ooh. you will get to a place that you want to be in. Well, pretty yeah. much. Well, I mean, but, all of us have come from similarly cut pieces of cloth of just having to put up with shit service jobs, basically, what I've, uh, until learned, find something you what I've do. learned from today is that I've had significantly less jobs. I've had two. I've had two <laughs> <Yeah>. jobs. <laughs> yeah. no, this, is, this, is second, no, this, isn't, this is your third job, I guess. Technically, yeah. I mean, I did two weeks work experience. Obviously, I'm not counting. Yeah, that, that doesn't count. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy, yeah. I've done a lot of yeah. shit. A lot of done yeah. a lot of stuff. Long and short of it is, you basic. If you're in a shit job that you fucking hate quit. now, uh, yeah, just quit. just quit. No, don't quit. If, if, well, if, you've, got, if you've got, if, if you've can. got, if you can, yeah, I was about to say, if you've got financial commitments, which means that it'll like really not help other people with you quitting, i.e., dependents, etc. Mm -hmm. And you don't, you might not feel like you have a choice to quit. Um, I, quit I would anyway. just like find the find the time, make the time. To then put into something that you ca that will enable you to quit in the future, even mm. if it's like one to two hours per week, like mm. it all it all starts somewhere. So like if you've got like an idea for a side hustle, or like uh, you just want to do like a, a degree, like an open university degree, those can fit in like alongside um, yeah. mm. like full time, even full time jobs. You can do it. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's easy because it yeah. will be fucking difficult. I've had to work my tits off to get to yeah. where we are yeah. here. We we used to, <laughs> I remember we. We did, I, when, when I was helping out, it was streams three times a week in the evenings after work. And then on the weekends, I'd then be doing the chopping up the yep. footage for clips. And that was every week, week in, week out for... Like a, a year and a half. And it was like, <laughs> yeah. everyone, everyone was working fucking full-time mm. jobs, at, you yeah. know, bar Kath. And it was like, yep. um, and even Kath was still working like in the day on her, on her Twitch channel. And yeah. then we'd have to do like, 
uh, a two and a half hour. Oh no, it was like, they're like two and a half hour to three hours streams. Yeah, then. three hours. Three hours. And you had to be energetic. Yeah. At like seven thirty at night when everyone was falling yeah. asleep, it was fucking nails, yeah. dude. Oh my god. Can I just say, <laughs> I've, we've done this whole podcast, and I've only just noticed that I had a little clump of hair that came from my hair <laughs> that got hooked onto my necklace and oh, it's just no. been sat there the whole time. <laughs> just so this whole thing might look like I just have like a little hair. I don't think anyone can on. see it. I don't think anyone would have really noticed. said something, not. I don't think anyone would noticed. Okay, yeah, exactly, good, yeah. because I was just like- Plus it's behind your mic. Like pubes. I think now everyone's gonna rewind. <laughs> yeah. I go and, and look for it. I'm pretty yeah, sure it's behind your mic most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I will say yeah, yeah, yeah. one thing: uh, doing a job Bloody you God hate, man. there is no better feeling than handing in your people. Oh, voice. you're so oh, yeah. you're so yeah. right. Yeah. Leave that, it. Oh my God. Yeah, honestly, it feels like you can fucking fly, doesn't yeah. it? Because like, it doesn't matter. Oh. You're like, I've got a month left. You know how long you've got left. You, there's nothing changing that now. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, Here's the P45. Oh, you're quitting. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Peace. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. And it feels even better if you've had a shit manager and mm. then you tell them that we've been shit. Because oh, what? Yeah. And yeah. I've done that once. And do you know what they did? They were like, so we're actually going to uh, just pay you out. So you don't have to finish work. We'll just pay you to leave. Oh, oh God. Oh, yeah, that like, happened to me oh, as well. Like fucking yeah. Christmas is coming early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's your garden, leave. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. You okay, will bye. do a shit job and our business will be worse off with you here. Yeah. Yeah. I did, so, uh, however, I did, I did get upset when I left. My, oh, okay, uh, yeah. My call centre job, yeah. I think Why? it's because because you, you're institutionalised, aren't you? Like, I was in a team, wasn't I? I knew everyone else yeah. hated it. The team were uh, decent. Yeah, yeah. The people I worked with were fine. It yeah. does the management if, if, and the job itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you are in a shit job and there are other people who always make who also dislike the shit job, yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah. make some real good friends because yeah. like there's nothing that bonds people more together than like shared uh, shared, shared suffering. Trauma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that's how you make, make good friends. Yeah. Ugh. Well, all right then. Thank you, everyone, for listening or watching. Yes. Um, we'll be back another time, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I suppose we just say bye now and let Nick get on with the edit. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, goodbye. Are we saying goodbye now? Oh, I don't bye. know. Would you? Bye. Bye. Well, we need to finish. Bye. So bye. Worst, worst outro in the world. <laughs> well, you kept interrupting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, walk I, was, I was walking the dog this morning and I needed to shit really bad earlier as well. And um, basically, oh God. It, it got to the point where I could feel it coming out and I hadn't. I was like, I was oh on my no. way back and I had a spare <laughs> dog poo bag and I was like, should I just do it? <laughs> should I just squat down and hope no one walks past? Oh my God, <laughs> did you? No, I didn't. I waited till oh I got right. home, but I, it was, the temptation was there. Nasty. Would you like? Would you? Would you poop directly in the into the bag, or would you like shit on the floor then pick it up? I mean, I'd probably <laughs> shit on the floor then pick it up because if I hold the bag there, I might miss anyway, and then I can't use the bag to pick it up because there's already shit in there. Yeah, but then you have to oh, think about like if you need to shit that bad. <laughs> <laughs> other chances are that you've got di diarrhea. Oh no, I, I know it wouldn't. It wouldn't be diarrhea. No. I know that. Much. It wouldn't have been. Oh, I can never tell. I got, I've been you... haunted by the past. Just like, just because you never know. Like, no. I, I think, I think what you do know. If you feel it coming, and it's like, if you can feel it poking go, out, <laughs> you know it's not diarrhea. <laughs> Because diarrhea wouldn't poke out. It would just, it Let's would... play a game of gas, solid, or liquid. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> oh, we're talking then... about poo again. <laughs> <laughs>